Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to look at question number 15, and it looks like I've got some little friends with us that are going to kind of swim along for the ride. All right, so question number 15 asks us to state a compound inequality, and this compound inequality happens to use the word and. So come with me and the little fish, and we're going to go here to my paper. Let me go ahead and extend the cam a little bit. Here we go. Let me pull the cord out. And we are at the paper. So here's where we are. We have the inequality, the compound inequality, 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 22, and x minus 1 is less than 13. Now the best way to solve a compound inequality is to, to use what I call helper graphs. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to solve this inequality for x, I'm going to solve this inequality for x, and then we'll see how the word and fits in. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we have 5x is greater than or equal to 20. And when I divide both sides of this inequality by 5, I get that x is greater than or equal to 4. The word and, of course, is still in the middle. And this is a very easy inequality to isolate x by just adding 1 to both sides. x is less than 14. So we have basically made our compound inequality a little bit simpler. And now what we're going to do is use this equivalent form of what we started with to actually get the solution set. So what I'm going to suggest you do, and let me get a different color here. Let me switch to, let me switch to uh, blue. I'm going to draw three what I call helper graphs. On the first helper graph, I'm going to sketch x is greater than or equal to 4. Bracket, the number 4, and then all real numbers greater than or equal to 4 are going to go on that first graph. On the second graph, I'm going to sketch all numbers less than 14. So I put a paren, I put the number 14, and I shade off to the left forever into the negative infinity direction. Now, the word in the middle is and. And remember what and means. And means intersection. If I look at this set of numbers, and if I look at this set of numbers, which numbers are in both lists? That's what the word and means. They have to be in this picture and they have to be in this picture. And if you'll notice, I'll draw little kind of lines to help here. Between 4 and 14, these two pictures have commonality. In fact, that's the intersection of these two pictures. So our final answer would be all numbers between 4, including 4, and 14, excluding 14. So now we don't need to look back up at the helper graphs anymore. This is actually my answer graph right here. So this is my answer or my solution to the compound inequality. If I write it as bracket 4 comma 14 open paren, that answer is written in interval notation. And notice this is a sandwich, right? Numbers between 4 and 14. If I write this in set builder notation, it's the set of all x's such that 4 is on the left, 14 is on the right, X is in the middle, right by my little fish, swimming right by there. Point these two signs to the left and put an equals on the 4 but not on the 14. The way this is read is the set of all X's such that X is in between 4 and 14, including 4, excluding 14 x is greater than or equal to 4, and at the same time, x is less than 14. And those are three different ways. Here's the first way, 
Here's the second way, and here's the third way of writing our solution set to this compound inequality.